Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 71, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We spent the last two episodes working on getting a bridge built, and now it is time for something a little bit different. If you remember, we found that there was the... Um, what was it called? The Prisma Stone that we used, and somebody else mentioned something about it being... Um, uh, that you could combine the Prisma Stone with something else to get a more powerful stone. And, oh, yep. So, in a previous episode, we went ahead and we put it on a pedestal in the past. Uh, I didn't realize that that was the start of this quest, so now we're kind of skipping ahead a little bit. So, we found the Prisma Stone for one quest. At some indeterminate point in the middle, we put it on the pedestal in prehistory. And now we're back at 600 AD, and we're going to have to talk to this guy here about what's next. You want to enter the sanctuary? Well, you are our heroes, but there are customs to be obeyed. Entrance is forbidden without the blessed rep mark. Would you be kind enough to fetch it from the northern wood first? If you retrieve the crest, I will allow you inside. Okay, uh, so now we got to go back to the northern forest. One of the two new places to quest. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically it's four if you consider that there's two locations in two different times, but I don't know. We get to do this. Run through the forest yet again. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on. All right, Robo's electric boogie. Seem to make that pretty easy the last time. There we go. Done. XP. Gold. Uh oh. Oh, it's just you? Well, I'm trying to remember. Some of these guys were immune to magic, and, and I struggle to recall which is which. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Oh look, a glow, glowing blue thing that wasn't there before. Obtain Rept Mark. And back down to the Elder we go. Go through the woods. I'd say into the woods, but I I don't wanna I don't wanna trigger any memories of that really weird, really bad movie. Let's instead find something a little bit better, and a better use for the talents involved. Hello, Mr. Elder. Yes, yes, this is it. Very well then, into the sanctuary. So, this is the Prisma Stone that we found in prehistory put on the pedestal in prehistory and now we are going to grab it so we're gonna by the by you wouldn't happen to have anything worth giving me do you you've done a lot for this village we owe you a great deal of thanks and money and money where's the end money I, I heard you owed me a great deal and usually with thanks comes gold or items. <laughs> Arcadius is giving me a look. All right, prehistory. 
I mean, when you come down to it, when we're talking about Everon, all the houses are all about that money. I mean, you know, yada, 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 especially something, you know, a uh, <laughs> golden hand, please. I mean, I guess I do have some healing, but I'm not doing that for anybody else, so. Oh, I hear it. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. All right. So, that's the Prisma Stone that we found for the quest uh, a while ago when we started all, all the side shenanigans that we placed there. Then we went to the future and we grabbed basically that stone from the future. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the Prisma Stone next to the Prisma Stone. And that's going to give us a time paradox. No. That's, they're going to combine with each other <laughs> and give us the Saint Stone. The Saint Stone. Hmm. That's some sort of a new metal thing. Saint Stone. Is that a Metallica album? Okay. Now, we need to go up the mountain two more times. Alright, uh, I gotta remember which one of these guys talked to us about that anyway. Um, oh, greetings again. Oh, greetings again. <laughs> Alright, uh... Yada, 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 food. My daughter is as hale as before, thanks to you. You've no idea how a mother worries when her child is not well. Uh, if you happen to come across a rusted blade... Oh, that's right. He's got all the weapons. I guess packing up the high ethers would be nice, too, just to have handy. Same... Ooh! That's right, he sells the elixirs. That's always nice. And shield spheres. Aeonian suits are nice, but not what I need. Alright, uh, you know what? Since I've got the time and the money, let me go ahead and bank up some more elixirs. And I'll probably do a little bit of buying and selling at some point to uh, up the quotient of elixirs. But one of these guys was the one who kept telling us about the stones and whatnot. Alright, though the narrow passage to the west is a cavern dark as pitch. Beyond that, well, who could know? Okay, no, you're not the guy I need to talk to just yet. Are the monsters truly gone? Yada, yada, yada. Anxiety attack. It couldn't be. This is the gem I spoke of? My, it certainly is gorgeous. But wherever did you find another Prisma Stone? There shouldn't have been more than one in the world. <laughs> you traveled through time? I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. But still, I appreciate you coming to show it to me. Let me give you a little something as a way of saying thanks. Hold on, I just need to put the finishing touches on it. Gold already comes pre-prepared. There you are. Go on, take it. Ooh, a dragon arm. Such a gorgeous gem that was. If you find any other pretty stones, be sure to show them to me, alright? Alright, first things first. Uh, ooh. Alright, so that's an attack of 150 to an attack of 170. Yes, please. Nice. All right, so I can actually sell the Terraton arm then. I'm going to hang on to the Crisis arm just because it, it is kind of fun to have around. And if you want to play with it, you can. But basically, the, the amount of damage he does, uh, it's this weird formula that is rooted in the last digit of his hit points. And, and so it, it's a little too variable for me. 
It's a little too random and clumsy. Like a blaster. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Wrong, wrong franchise. All right. <clears throat> All right. Yada, yada, yada. Now, apparently, we get to talk to somebody about placing the Saint Stone in the mountain. Need something that will shine in the darkness? Well, the Prisma Stone is said to absorb light. Perhaps if you left a stone like that in the sun on some high peak for a long time, it would absorb enough light to shine on its very own. There we go. Guess where we're going. Back up the mountain. Again. And this is the one where there's lots of enemies that you have to fight. Okay, so... All right, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Okay. There we go. Just double checking. Hi, guys. We're going to do this again. Uh, I can't remember if Electrocute actually did something or not. No, it did nothing. Did the shadow do something? Yes, it did. But not enough. <laughs> not like hitting them. I only like lightning when it's being cast the other way. mention um i don't know if you noticed but on robo's little stat sheet in the bottom left uh you'll see where stamina has two stars that means that his stamina is maxed out at 99 um just like chrono's got his stamina and magic defense maxed out at 99 uh so as we get closer to getting everybody up to maximum level, you'll start seeing a lot of these items max out. Um, so it's good to know that some of these guys have uh, maxed out magic defense and all sorts of good fun stuff. Uh, who's got the little... Our frog could use a speed boost. I'll have to take a look through the inventory and see what kind of tabs and whatnot we have at some future point in time. That's not the way I wanted to go. I need to go down and around and back up the mountain. Except this time, if I remember right, there are... more of the battles that you can't skip. <laughs> I'd say that's overkill, but there is no such thing as overkill. Burn them to the ground, and then burn the ashes. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah. Our second ladder. Up and down, and up and down. Will you let me by? Good. And up and down. If I had the licensing rights, I'd play Joe Bonamassa's uh, Mountain Climbing. Uh, that that would that would seem to be appropriate for uh, our week this week. You know, let me scoot around you. There we go. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Not you. Clearly not you. All right, let's get Magnus to throw that, which should take care of most of them. No, I think it's just going to take care of the bird with the belt. Yeah, there we go. The shadow bugs, or whatever they are. Is Robo going to get a crit? No. No, 
but he's going to get one more uh, shadow bomb in. There we go. Sweet. Some XP, some gold. down and up and down over hill over dale something something the dusty trail the party goes marching along here we go a beautiful spot place the saint stone here why yes yes i will Guess what we need to do? We need to come back here in 600 AD. <laughs> so first we got to make our way back down the mountain to the time machine. The climb, go to the future. Oh, well, future from where we're at. And then climb back up the mountain and pick up the new stone. I kind of wish that there was like a little beeper or something that you could kind of, you know, like quick call the time machine. Like, you know, it, it's flown to us before. Couldn't do that now. All right. Actually, I forgot that he's got a, uh, he's got a shadow magic spell that has a chance of Pulling some portion of those guys into a dimensional vortex of, or basically it takes them off the map. Um, I should probably try that on these guys next time and see if I can suck one or more of them into a black hole. Because even if shadow magic in general is ineffective on them, it, it might be nice to just kind of drop them all in a black hole and... Tell them to put their bag of holding inside a bag of holding. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, getting a little punchy from trekking up and down the mountain. Can't I at least parachute? Or jump? Surely I should be able to repel or climb, right? I... Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Yeah, this is it. Nope. Okay. I know. I know that's overkill, but let's just go ahead and get that done. Too many missed attacks, missed opportunities. Although the gold's always worth it. And the XP. It'd be kind of nice to get to level 60 or up that way in the new game. Plus, I could jump into one of the harder endings to, to manage. Alright, let, you know what? Let's see if... Uh... Oh, he's the only one that'll be reached by it. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Alright, let's see if that gets these guys done a little bit quicker, huh? Oh, yep, there he goes. Bam. Sucked him into a black hole, we did. Not the really weird, slightly disturbing Disney movie black hole either. Was that into the black hole? Now I don't remember, and I'm pretty sure there's a reason why. And a good, a good reason why. <laughs> Because that, 
that was a very, very bizarre movie. All right, we've taken some damage. We've used up a fair number of magic points. Let's go ahead and do a quick rest. All right, so I got to head up the mountain into the cave. Uh, hmm. Yeah. There we go. All right, so you know what? Let's go ahead and cause it here. <laughs> cause it here. Call it here, where we know that we're going to... Because we got at least one more episode's worth of uh, adventuring to do on this quest. So we might, we might only wrap up the uh, side quest this week. Find out soon enough, especially if you're watching live. So thank you for joining along so far. If you are one, uh, the lucky person. <laughs> Still, guys, spread the word. Even if you can't watch live, let, let other people know that this is broadcast live on uh, Thursday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow along to get notified when I, when I go live. And definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. Helps channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.